sink yourselves down, because now is the time to welcome a legend. All I'll say is, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're all excited out there, and we are thrilled you've chosen to spend your night with us to come and see a legend tonight. If I can ask you during the interview, ladies and gentlemen, to be as quiet as you can, that'd be lovely. It really, really would. So if you just show a little bit of appreciation there, I'm sure you will. You always do. But at the start, we don't want you to be quiet. We want you to welcome this guy on stage tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest midfield player of his generation. Ex-Newcastle, ex-Tottenham Hotspur, ex-Lazio, ex-Glasgow Rangers, ex-Everton, FA Cup winner, Scottish title winner. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the greatest English midfield player of his generation. Legend 7, welcome, Mr. Paul Gascoigne, come on! Send oh. yourselves up! Paul oh, Gascoigne, ladies and gentlemen! Ha ha! I'll tell you what, mate. One thing we'll say about Paul. Shady Brothers, well done. <laughs> now then, he, he's showing the six pack. He's showing the six pack, ladies and gentlemen, because this fella, look at him now. Fit me around him because of fucking five grand in that fucking bucket. Seen you. He thinks his head is not important. He's a fucking unlinded, that fucking thing. <laughs> So when I was 12, God bless him, I was at Ipswich. When I was 12, I was so Bobby Robson, God bless him, he's, he's not here anymore. He's probably up there with me dad, my dad has some funny fucking money, that's for sure. <laughs> but, um, and then when I was 14, I um, went to Middlesbrough, they wanted to see me. And um, I looked in the bottom of the corner, right? And there was a fucking pair of trainers, brand new, when I went. I used to borrow my sister's sand shoes, the white plimsolls. You should know, guys. Fucking from Manchester. <laughs> um, so I went, oh, I like them. He went, are you going to say for Millsborough? I went, yeah. Because at that age, I took anything from a size 7 to a fucking 14, believe me. <laughs> but uh, my mother knew how to uh, rob socks. So I went, yeah, I'm going to say for Millsborough. So they give us his trainers. And I went fucking back. I stole them and fucking fucked off. And then my dream was to play for Newcastle. My dream. We're going to have a fucking laugh tonight. Right? I'm going to more thing. <laughs> so I'm sitting there in the house and I played for the little boys' club. I went, Mom, I want to save for Newcastle. So all I want to do is play for Newcastle. Do you want to fucking make love or shut the fuck up? I'm only joking, sweetheart. So I knock on the door, Newcastle United. I says, Mum, my mum answered the door, obviously. So I'm Paul, Newcastle United. No, I always fucking want to say Newcastle, because when I was younger, playing in the, in the streets, like we used to do, playing the gates and all that, all the gates were like gold. And then, um, well, the gates are robbed, to put it that way, fucking on. <laughs> so I went, same for Newcastle United. So I went, what's the deal? Well, when you leave school at 16, you're going to sign for Newcastle, Prentice Pro. And I said, all I thought about was, fuck me, I'm going to get paid when I finish school. So fuck it. I was good at school. I got nine year old levels. A fucking zero for everything I fucking did, honestly, really me. <laughs> so I knew when I was, so I went to school that day. The next day, sorry. And I'm saying the autograph, Paul Gascoigne, Paul Gascoigne, Paul Gascoigne, a geography question. Right? A fucking geography. <laughs> fucking me. So, I went, are you going to say for, um, what are you doing? I said, I'm saying for Newcastle United. Paul Gascoigne, my autograph. He went, do you know one in a million make it? I went, I'm going to fucking make it. Yeah. <laughs> so I got fucking expelled for a week. And that was all right. So I, I signed for Newcastle United, right? So I knew I'm on £25 a week. 
And I thought, I should be a more. I realised my mother was on 35 quid a week. I went, Mum, how the fuck are you on 35 quid a week? I'm on 25 quid a week. She went, I have to feed the dogs. Fucking dogs. I went, Mum, I'm getting beads on toast every fucking week, man. <laughs> so, anyway, I was safe in Newcastle, 16 and a half years of age. Now, get used to this. I got man the match against Liverpool, Man United, and Tottenham scored two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking right there, son. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all right, mate. Once a year, always a year. Yeah. So, I signed for Newcastle, I knew that was it. When I left school, I was getting weird and that. So, we, um, we signed a player called Billy Waiters, six foot four, looked like fucking Rambo. I went, oh my God, I wouldn't like to fucking play against him. So the ball came and I put the ball through his, 16 and a half years of age, I put the ball through his legs and I laughed. He went, do you think that's fucking funny, you fuck, fat cunt? <laughs> Excuse me, language girls. <laughs> ah, you're welcome to you, they're useful. <laughs> Believe me, I'll tell you fucking later, shut up. <laughs> so he went, do that again and knock your fucking jaw off. I went, oh, fuck me. So I put the ball through his legs again. He punches right in the fucking jaw. I walked off. I went, honestly, I went, I tell you what, me, I'm not coming back anymore and my dad's going to fucking chin you, you fucking prick. <laughs> so I played the game and then we're playing for Newcastle United and I've got man in the match and I'm cruising. I'm, I know I'm the bollocks, right? And then, so, we'll play, cheers guys, sorry. So we played the game, and I got man of the match for three games, Liverpool, Man United, Liverpool, uh, Tottenham, scored two goals, right? And then one game we got beat 3-1, and the manager was fuming. He went, I ain't fucking happy. I'm thinking about bringing a new f three new faces. And Peter Beasley went, because I have the first one, Gaffer. <laughs> and I know when I played, there were some ugly bastards about, right? Ian Dowie, how fucking ugly is he now? <laughs> I knew when he was born, he had shutters on his fucking pram, man, honestly. <laughs> right? I mean, oh, how fucking ugly was he? But I don't tell you what. So, so I'm, I'm playing, right, for Newcastle. I'm 17 years of age, and I know I'm fucking the best player, want to be the best player in the world, probably was. Shh, man of match, nah, we're doing. So we're playing away at Wimbledon. We're playing away at Wim Wimbledon, something. Wimbledon, little shit stadium. Not like fucking Man United Stadium, not like Liverpool, fucking the cop and Newcastle and you fucking name it. Do you want to fucking make me it? Fuck off. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. I'll, I'll come back to that. So, <laughs> cheers, mate. <laughs> so, we're playing away, we're playing away with Wimbledon. Wimbledon, I thought. Fuck me, I'll just beat Man United, Liverpool, Tottenham, two goals. Fucking man the match. This is a piece of piss. So the gaffer went, Peter Beasy, you're up against Tony Gale, black guy, hard as fuck. He went, Glenn Royal, you're playing against John Fasten, you hard bastard. He will do you in. I went, oh, I wouldn't like to And he went, Gaza. The gaffer went, Gaza. Oh, what? Good luck. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, good luck? When you're playing against a guy today, his name is Vinnie Jones. <laughs> I don't know how he can play, but he's a hard fucking bastard. I'm like, mm. Well, I recognize it. I think so. So I'm going out with a bottle of brown ale and fucking Mars Bob, put that way down the tunnel. I look at Vinnie Jones. I know it's him. I went, oh, fuck. I wanted to go back to the first room and say, Gaffer, I really don't feel well. I think I've got fucking food poison. <laughs> you ain't get on with it. So I went up the tunnel again. <laughs> I looked at him and I went, Hi, Vinny. 
He went, me and you, you fat bastard. So, um, oh, I didn't want to fucking play. So gonna, I just looked up and went, fuck. Got on the pitch, they kicked off with the ball, right? I said, he come re racing up to this. He went, I went, Vinny, you've got the ball. He went, listen, you fat fuck. I can't play football and neither you today. I went, I don't want to play today. <laughs> Imagine, I just got man the match against Man U, Liverpool, fucking Tottenham scored two, and I'm shitting a brick. <laughs> Fuck me. So they kicked off, and you know when they playing football, the guys will know, when you ask the referee at the end of the game, how long to go, you say two minutes? I asked the referee after two fucking minutes. <laughs> So the game's going on. He went, who fatty? I answered the fatty, because I was fucking fatty anyway. He went, I forgot to tell you, I've got to take the fucking throw-ins. So I went, OK. He took the throw-in, and I watched where the ball went. He went, I'm back. Oh, fuck me. I went, OK. So we're playing again. He was all over us like a fucking rush. And then 10 minutes ago, he went, fatty. Oh, fuck me, I went, what? I forgot to tell you, I've got to take the corners. I went, it's OK, Vinny. I ain't going to fuck it anywhere, but I'm sitting. <laughs> so um, he took the corner, he come back. <clears throat> and there was two minutes ago. So I went, I've got to brave up now. I've only two fucking minutes ago. So I started pushing him. And that's when he fucking grabbed his family allowance. <laughs> he was. And when I look back, guys, I fucking wish he had of, because I would have saved three million fucking pounds, I tell you. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> so, now then, you come to leave Newcastle, and as these fellas are shouting around the back of the room, it looked like you're going to come here to Manchester at one point. Well, what happened? Um, I said, my dad, we sell Peter Beasy, Chris Waddle. I went, Dad. I've got to get rid I've got to leave Newcastle. He went, just stick in, son, you'll be all right. He went, one team will come up for you. So I'm 19. And the phone goes, I went, Dad, Kenny Daglish. Me dad went, money, son, money. <laughs> Fuck for the team I was saying, but he just went, money. So I spoke to Kenny Daglish for half an hour. And me dad went, what did he say, son? I went, Dad, I did not understand a fucking word he just fucking said. <laughs> My dad's favorite saying was, son, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> now, my dad used to sit on a chair, lounge, grouse whiskey, cigarette. Son, you're a fucking idiot. So I went, that's the gone, fucked. He says, keep on playing. So I kept on playing. And then, genius. cheers, sir. Uh, <laughs> so I went about a month later, I played for Newcastle, still get man in the match, get used to that. And <laughs> the phone goes, it's Sir Alice Ferguson. Yeah. I went, <laughs> so I went, Dad, it's Sir Alice Ferguson on the phone. He went, I fucking told you, son. <laughs> so what's the deal? So Alice Ferguson went, same with Man United, I'm going to hold you two weeks. When you come back, will you be Old Trafford? Same for Man United. <laughs> I'm starting to laugh because I know what's fucking coming. <laughs> so I went, yeah, definitely. When I get back from holiday in two weeks' time, you'll be Old Trafford, signed, done. So I put the phone down, I went, Dad, fucking hell, so I was first in Man United. What a fucking team, fucking unbelievable. My dad's excited, I'm excited. So, cheers. You haven't heard the fucking rest of it yet, you daft shite. You know. So the next day... <laughs> so, <clears throat> two, two days later, <clears throat> the phone goes. Irvin Scholar, Tottenham Hotspur. I went, yeah, what do you want? I want to say for Tottenham Hotspur. I went, hold on. My dad's still not left this fucking chair, by the way. <laughs> I went, Dad, Tottenham Hotspur, Irvin Scholar, what me to say for Tottenham? Fuck them. You say for Man United. <laughs> the best team in the fucking world, son. You go to fucking Man United. <laughs> so I went, I'm sorry. My dad says I've got to go to Man United. 
He went, I'll tell you what, tell your fucking dad, if it's ain't for Spurs, we'll give you a house for 120 grand for your parents. Hold on. Dad, if I say for Spurs, they're gonna give you a house for 120 fucking grand. What the fuck are you waiting for then, son? <laughs> So, so I went, oh, Dad, okay, 120 grand. He went, yeah. He's, he went, you're same for Spurs. And by the way, I was 61 in the boogies. Same for Spurs. So I went, all right, Dad. So I went, Irvin, I think I'm going to sign for fucking Tottenham. He went, okay. And my dad went, son, the house has got a fucking garage. <sighs> what do you want? I went, a BMW soft top, private fucking reg. I mean, where I lived, a Robin Reliant looked like a f fucking Rolls Royce, man, honestly. <laughs> so I went, all right, done. As I'm passing Old Trafford, I'm a shit in a brick. Uh, uh, Alice Ferguson's gonna go off it. So I got 100 yards from the fucking ground, training ground, right? The girls were like this. My sister rings up. Paul, my mum's getting the house, my dad's getting the car, I want a fucking sunbed. Evan, listen, I'd say for Tottenham, give me sister a fucking sunbed, please. <laughs> this sunbed was more powerful than the bulbs in the house. I blew the fucking house up, man. <laughs> so, say for Spurs, and I, I scored every goal, and fuck, I was flying. Terry Vellum was unbelievable. I was flying and fucking brilliant. So I scored the goal, if you've obviously seen, against David Seaman with the sock on. So I go out, I go out on the piss on a Sunday. On Monday, I cannot walk. I'm walking like the fucking Thunderbirds. I've got the shakes and everything. I went, Paul Allen, put my boots on, walk me on the pitch. When you walk me on the pitch, once I run about the gaff, I won't know. I'll be all right. He went, no problem, Gaza. Fuck me, I couldn't walk. The ball went over the fence. I went, I'll get it. I jumped over the fence, got the ball and fucked off home. <laughs> I come back the next year, same time, jumped back over the fence and went, found it, gaffer. <laughs> yeah, he's, he said, go and fucking sleep it off. I went, all right, no problem. But, you know, that season was Spurs and we finished high, the Man United. And we every every campaign, but you know, I still think about Sir Alice. He's fucking, we're, we're a legend. So the lads went, Gaza, you do something stupid every fucking club you go to. I went, no, I've just been bought for two point two million, and the press are watching me, so I, I've got to behave. I'm still a fat bastard. My dad still call me a fucking idiot, and I treat myself a merc, right? A Mercedes at Rolex. I thought it was the bollocks. So I went to train and the lads went, guys, I do something stupid. I went, I can't. The press. The, the, I'm coming to that for fuck's sake. So I went, we'll get there. Sir. We'll get there. So I went, guys, I can't. I said, I can't, guys. The press are watching me, 2.2 million, and I'm under pressure. Oh, you born bastard. Me, bottom bastard. On the way home, I'm thinking, what the fuck to do? I look across, I see a zoo. I went, mm, good. I couldn't sleep that night because I know what the fuck I'm going to be doing. <laughs> got over to half a seven, got to the zoo at eight o'clock, opened the fucking gate. The owner opened, opened the zoo, and I just walked in and I went, hiya. He went, oh my God, Paul Gascon, you're famous. Gaza, what do you want? I went, ostrich, please. <laughs> so he gave me an ostrich. Can you fucking believe it? So I got number eight. I got number eight shirt, put the fucking number eight shirt, Tottenham Square, on his fucking back. We the lads were warming up, and I just hide the ostrich on the pitch. I went, Gaffer, got a player for you. He's quick as fuck. <laughs> So he went, he went, fucking hell. You know what's funny though? The lads finished training at 12.30. You ever try catching a fucking ostrich? 
I finished 5.30, I was not fat as fuck anymore, fuck anymore. <laughs> I took a back to the zoo. <laughs> On the way to the ground, everyone was shooting the homes. I went, I'm famous. Forgot I got fucking horses back the car, by the way. He went, fucking hell. He went, what the fuck are you doing me horses? I went, the gaffer doesn't like it. It's shit in front of goal and waste of fucking time. Sign on for his shit. So I was at one place I was fucking bored from anyway, put that way. But you know, I love my time at Spurs. And Terry Brown was his brother. He's not well at the moment, but he said, Gaza, if you play for me, I'll get you playing for England in 10 games. I did it in fucking eight. So 1988, you, you're right. Terry Venables kept his promise. You get into the England squad. Sir Bobby, of course, takes you to the England squad and gets you ready for Italia 90. Yeah, so, um... Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. So, um... So, when I go to the World Cup, God bless him, Sir Bobby Robson. Yeah. Cheers, guys. It went, um, this is when I knew Sir Bobby Robson was going to do every tap, lost the plot, but never mind. Uh, so he got picked me for the World Cup. So go in the airport, right, and he went, Gaza, someone stole me fucking mobile phone. I went, what do you mean? Someone stole your mobile fucking phone. He went, someone stole me mobile phone. I went, it's easy, if you ring up, and see it's your mobile phone. He says, I'm sure they'll give you back. He went, good idea. You know what he did, guys? He put his hand in his pocket. <laughs> so you got a girl, yeah? He went, they've got me fucking mobile phone, Gaza. They've fucking used me, but he fucking did his own fucking mobile phone. But I couldn't laugh because I wanted to get the World Cup. I thought, oh, bless him, he's fucked. You know, Jesus. <laughs> so we get the World Cup anyway. No, I was sponsored by Adidas. They gave me a half a million pound contract to wear Adidas. <laughs> Cheers. I wish it was fucking that good, Donald, honestly. So, I've got a half a million pound contract with Adidas. And I'm playing for England. But I left my boots in the fucking dressing room. And, and sorry, in the hotel room. So I went in the dressing room, I went, lads, I didn't want to go to fucking any pair of fucking boots that fit me. Woman, Nike. I went, cheers. So I got a black marker, I painted it in the fucking Nike stripe, put them on, I went, thank fuck for that, half a million quid. I'm playing for England, it started raining. <laughs> Ten minutes ago, I just seen the fucking Nike stripe come out, I went, ah, oh, fuck. I said, I lost the fucking half a million pound contract. So Bob Robinson went, well, you still got Adidas. He went, what size is it? I went, nine. He went, so am I. He went, give me your pair of boots. I gave him a pair of boots. After half an hour, he fucking threw them at me. He went, you stupid prick. You're not a size nine. They still had the tissue in the fucking toes, guys. <laughs> I thought, all right. So during the World Cup, there's an odd threat to like I was one of you guys, right? There's no difference between me and you because I love you to bit. The only difference was that I was good at my feet. <laughs> sure. So you get to the World Cup, mate, Italian 90. This is where you became a global world star, Paul. Yeah, yeah, I mean, fucking Dad was happy, put it that way, but no, he's, um... Anyway, by the way, when I was talking about 6-1 to one in the boogies, by the time I got to Tottenham, I was 5-1 to one on. My dad told every fuck in the village I was saying about Tottenham. <laughs> but yeah, in the World Cup, and then... So I'm enjoying it, right, and then... Um, well, yeah, well, cheers. So, in the World Cup, I'm enjoying it. I'm fucking doing everything that you, that you shouldn't do. And then we got the semi final, quarter final, and Bobby Robson gives us a few years off. And he went, Go on, a couple of years off. He went, All go and sunbathe. I can't sunbathe, I can't rest. I see your cocktail hut. I went, Oh, fucking lovely. Being an alcoholic, that you fucking do, you know. So I went, I'll have some of that. So I went to the cocktail hut. The lads are sunbathing about 50 yards away. I went, fuck them. Pina Colada. 
Pina Colada, and then I heard Gaza, Bobby Robson. And what gaffa? What are you having? I went, strawberry milkshake gaffa. <laughs> he went, give me a taste of that. I'm sweating like you fuck, I oh, won't fuck. He went, ooh, can I have one of them to the guy? I went, do not tell him. So he gave me a strawberry milkshake. Tasted his, tasted mine. He went, hold on, fuck me. Tasted his, tasted mine. He went, this is not the fucking steam. He went, the guy, he went, where's my umbrella, cherry, and straw? Ah, oh, well, fucking brilliant, I've got the fuck out. About 12 pina coladas later, I'm singing, England, England. But you know, so you come to the semi final in the World Cup, and I, I loved it. And you know, people's reason, I say, why did I cry? I cried because of you guys. Because I thought, this is the truth, I thought my career was over. Uh, I was never going to have the best time ever in, in my life. <laughs> and I, that's why I, I cried for the fans. And I knew I'd play the last 20 minutes of the game and just fucking play for the fans because I just loved it. So the night before the semi final, I'm room with Chris Waddle anyway. I went, Chris, I can't sleep. The night before the semi final, I cannot fucking sleep. I said, do us a favor. <laughs> There's Playboy Charles, page 60. I've already used fucking page 50, fucking seven. You know what that means? No, whack one off. Yeah. So, no problem. So I went for a walk. And I only had two guys playing tennis, right? And I, I had two guys playing tennis. I thought, I'll oh, fancy game of fucking tennis, you know what I mean? Oh. It's fucking 11 o'clock night before fucking semi final the World Cup. So when I had challenges, they went, where's the partner? I went, I'll fucking beat the two years. It's so now fucking 20 past one, arms wet me nuts off. I've got to win this fucking game. I hear Bob Robson saying, Gaza, I dropped the racket. He walked past me and he went, who the fuck you think he is? Do you realise he's got the most important... I was it. I ran back to the room and went, Chris, if anyone knocks on the door, just tell them I'm sleeping. He went, ah, I need problem, guys. So he knocked on the door, went like that. Chris Wall, the man's at Bobby Robson. Where the fuck is he? He's sleeping, gaffer. Sleeping, he's just been being tense for two fucking hours against Americans. Chris Wad looked at me and went, have you? I went, <laughs> <laughs> So the next day, I'm hiding because I just don't want to know if I'm playing tomorrow morning because he, he called me 20 past 10, 11. He went, listen, I know I've already called you fucking daft as a brush, but last night was not fucking normal. In fact, in the morning, I went, did I win? <laughs> and he fucking win. He went, today, you're playing against Lusa Matthias, the best midfield player in the world. I looked at him and went, so, sorry, Gaffer, I'm the fucking best midfielder in the world. <laughs> but you them tears for, for you guys, you know? And when I got back from the World Cup, do you know who I went to? One guess. Go and see that fucking geography teacher, Mr. Fucking Hepworth. I said, remember me? When you told me when I say the autographs, one in a million, I'm the fucking one. Now go and fuck yourself. You win the FA Cup with Tottenham, and then you get a move of all places. Yeah, I went to Lazio. Um, yeah, well, I went to um, my dad's son. You're a fucking idiot with the ostrich. You fucking name it. So, but I used to, we weren't allowed a phone call in the World Cup. Really, we're not allowed to. Read papers, not like fucking today's. <laughs> when did I read papers, not? I used to fucking smuggle me phone and went, Dad, how do you think I'm doing? He went, I've got all the press outside for fuck's sake, son. And I went, enjoy, Dad, see you later, fuck off. Six to one, next game. <laughs> so, so eventually, when I got back after the World Cup, Tottenham, I played, I scored in every game for the uh, 91 Cup final. I got injured in the cup final, obviously. The fucking morphine was good. <laughs> so when I went, Teddy Venables went, cheers, guys. Teddy Venables went, um, Gaza, Lacho, in, Lacho Football Club is coming in for you. So I went, all right, what? Well, I said, Lacho Football Club. I went, 
OK, I'll fly over with my dad and see what they're like. So I flew over with my dad. Truthfully, I started crying. I went, Dad, I cannot fucking train like these. This training was unbelievable. My dad went, it's too late, son. I packed my suitcases and found the fucking villa for you. <laughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> I played for that show. And I, um, I scored against AC Milan. Got man the match again. Yeah. Cheers, guys. So, coming this, we used to play on a Sunday. Coming the Friday, the gaffer went, Dino's off, you're not playing on Sunday against Juventus. I went, I fucking am. And when you're not, I said, I fucking am. I've just scored against East Milan, man the match. I'm playing against Juventus. He went, you fucking not. I went, what for? They went, the gaffer, the president wants to play against Maradona and Seville. Fuck him. I ain't playing against him. I want to play against Juventus. Fucking hell. They went, I said, no, you're not playing against Juventus. You know what I did? I fucked off the Euro Disney. <laughs> and all I can remember on a Sunday having a fight with Mickey, I stuck the nut on Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Had a fight with Pluto and kicked Donald Duck up the arse. <laughs> and Lazio found out where I was. And they went, you're playing against Maradona? I went, no. I tell you what, if he's playing against me, he must be getting paid. So I won 120 grand. If I'm playing against Maradona, they went, OK, we get it. I went, OK, no problem. I said, I'll meet you in Seville. I'll leave you on Tuesday morning. And I'll meet you in Seville, and I'll meet the players. I walked out the dressing room, walked out and told Diego Maradona standing there. And I went, Diego, I'm smashed. He went, it's OK, Gaza, so am I. You're back. <laughs> so I played the game, and I... If you ever look at the game, I beat five players. I scored in the bottom corner. And I mean, if I didn't know what the fuck I'm doing, it's events and So I looked at Diego Maradona, I went, beat that. And fuck me, he scored his goal 35 yards out in the stanchion. No, Maradona just said, you daft twat. No, fucking, <laughs> nah, I'm with John. So I went, oh no, Messi. Yeah, you want to see the mess I've fucking made over the years, mate. So, I, after the game, I went, Diego, do the press conference. He went, Gaza, fuck off, you're on your own. Well, I didn't get paid the 120 grand. I got fined 40,000 pounds. You know what I did? I fucked up about the years and he fed the fucking fin finished the fight off. <laughs> so, I, I love Lazio, yeah, but we got new manager, Zeman, you know? Fucking name, he was a tough guy, but not as tough as fucking why he used to go too. So then you, you decided to come back to the UK. Um, surprisingly, you ended up in Scotland, but that wasn't your first port of call. A few teams came in for you. Well, yeah, so I knew I wanted to leave anyway, and Dinozov probably had enough or whatever, but so I went to see Dinozov. I went, name the fucking teams that are in for me. He went, Chelsea, Glen Hoddle. I went, fuck that. I even fucking say by him. I mean, people don't understand, people don't realize why main Glenn Hall didn't get on. It was easy. He went, Gaza, I found God. I went, that must have been a fucking great pass. <laughs> I mean, you know that. <laughs> you, know that <laughs> you know that woman had to say fucking Aaron Jury. I only went because I thought he said fucking Brody. That's for sure. <laughs> other one was the easy, other one was Aston Villa. I said, what's your other fucking team? He went, Rangers. So I went, Rangers? I went, fuck off. I didn't say it with them. I thought he meant Queen's Park Rangers. It was fucking Glasgow Rangers. So I turned around and I went, bring him over. I'm saying for Glasgow Rangers. I went, Gaza, let me tell you about Glasgow Rangers. I went, let me tell you what I've got in the fucking fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so all I asked for, no, that was a missus, mate. Um, all, I was, all I was asking for was uh, to be happy and playing football again and just, I can be back home. So he said, the fans will love you. I went, OK, then. So I said to the Glasgow Rangers, I didn't want to drop a minute, but fucking Ian Ferguson. She says, Gaza, have you scored do the sash? 
Oh, what the fuck is that? He went, do that. Well, what does that mean? He went, if you do that, the fans will love it. And I thought, well, I'll do it for the fucking fans. <laughs> so I played the fucking debut, right? I score. So Bucharest, score my debut. So I'm so excited. I go to the dressing room. The old lads have got their heads down and went, why are you not celebrating, guys? I've scored on my debut, man the match. Scored the goal and went, it's okay, happy. On the way home, after the game, I rang my dad out, I went, Dad, get the fucking newspapers in the morning. Scored on my debut, man the match, still book arrest, fucking fantastic. He went out, look forward to it. My dad called me seven o'clock in the morning. He went, son, you're on every other page than the fucking back page. I think you fucking IRE after you. <laughs> well, fuck me. <laughs> I was like, IRE are gonna kill Gaza. I am shitting a brick now. Oh, fuck me. I, can't, I, I couldn't sleep with fucking. On Monday, I went in. I went, Gaza, I think that IRE after this. He went, read that. It started like that. And it finished like that. I says, what do you think? He went, yeah, they're going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Fuck me. I read it. My name's from Ursula, Belfast, fucking Sussex Church, mobile number, house number, every number you can think of. I'm going to fucking kill you. And what do you think, Gaffer? No, he's going to kill you. I went back to the rest of him, you fucking bastard. So I rang the police and I went, help us. Go over and see him. Tell him I'm sorry. He went, in the meantime, can you board the house up? Fuck me, I would have boarded up a fucking Wendy house. <laughs> so the way for two days, I stayed indoors. The police turned up and went, you met him? Yeah. Is he IRA? Yeah. Is that the real guy? Yeah. Is he going to kill me? Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck me. So I went, fuck me, I'm going to get killed, yeah. What am I fucking do? So the copper says, look, I'll see you six o'clock at night, Gaza. I see you at six o'clock at night, and I'm going to show you something. So he pulled this big thing out, and I said, what's that for? He went, check on your car for bombs. <laughs> if you start it up, it'll blow you fucking up. I went, oh, cheers. He went, be careful when you open your meal, because when that opens up, it'll blow your fucking face off. No, I didn't want to look like Peter Beasley or oh, fucking Ian Dewey, so I wouldn't give a fuck. So I thought, what am I going to do? So I rang me ex-mate, Jimmy Fibrellis. I went, Jimmy, what are you doing for a living? I'm on the dole. I get 100 quid a week. What? Drive me into fucking work and open me meal for us. <laughs> he went, I need prop Gaza. He couldn't understand when I was 300 fucking yards away and the cigarette over Loch Lomond. See, Gaza, what are you doing? Start the fucking car over. I wish I had a fucking blow up. But I, you know, I had great times at um, I had great times at Rangers. You know, the press said I wouldn't do it, and I scored like 38 games and goals from midfield, from fucking, in two seasons. I won five medals. I won every person medal. Not being big at it, but I won every fucking thing. <laughs> you know, but once again, the lad said, "Gaza, you do tough things." Yeah. So I remember we used to wear a shirt and tie to go in Glasgow Rangers. It was just for 110 years or whatever. I went in with, a, with two trout. See? So I caught two trout that morning at 7.30 before I used to go fly fishing. I caught a six pound blue ball. And then, that's a joke, six pound blue ball, fly fishing. But then we'll get that in a minute. So I went, um, I went to train with two trout. And all the lads were training apart from me, Ali McCoy. So when Coy I've got two fucking trout, he went, shh, wait till the lads go training. So I got Gordon Jury's fucking car keys, right? And I put the trout, one trout, in, the, in his boot of his car. And Coy went, he'll fucking find out. I went, that's the idea. I put one in his car, in the seat. I went, no, he won't fucking know. <laughs> so after training, Gordon Jury come and he went, Gaza, you won't catch me. I've got the fucking trout. I went, yeah, he got me there. Two weeks later, he went, where's the other fucking trout? <laughs> I had to buy him a fucking new car. <laughs> the chairman, he couldn't scrap it. The chairman made me 
buy my new car, 17 grand chowed. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a lot fucking cheaper than you, the fucking chowed a divorce, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And of course, you're, fan you're fantastic form in Scotland, Gaz. And uh, but, yeah, you end up, you're on 96. Yeah, he's right. Um, but you know, when I. You're 96, we got Scotland. So I'm playing for Glasgow Rangers, right? And the fans, the players are hammering me. We're going to stick up, you English bastard. I took two months of it, and I just went, guys, you don't realise. When I fucking play for uh, Rangers, you know how I play. I know how you play, but you don't know how I play like, for my country. Not like today's players. You know, I try and tell young England players today, re remember, because when I look at you, right, if it wasn't for you, look, paying for money to watch me play for my country, football teams, all that, I wouldn't afford that holiday and Ro Rolex in the car, so I appreciate it so much for all that. No like today's guys. So we're you 96, right? <laughs> so I wonder, guys, you don't know what I'm like when I play for fucking me country. I'll fucking smash this the fuck. You watch this. But uh, that you 96, you know, World Tournament, that song the girls were playing the violin to and all that, fantastic, you know, and it was great memories. and. You know, for me to like miss that goal, I, if it was a Shiro, Alan, uh, yeah, fucking Gary Lincoln, sorry, he would have scored that, but I thought the keeper was going to get a touch. And obviously I missed out like a fucking nasty cock, but I mean. But I, what I can't understand, guys, right? You can help me out, yeah. I scored all my penalties. Gareth Southgate missed his fucking penalty. He got a 30 grand advert in the man's of fucking England. What the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> and I told him that as well. You know, but after that tournament, and then I, I missed. Oh, yeah, that was a great goal. Yeah, I must admit. But for me, in that tournament, the fans were unbelievable. I scored that goal at home. I was voted the best 100 goal in 100 years. But just. Just to be in front of my own, I felt at home, you know. And also, during that tournament, the F I'll come back to these in a minute. The FA wanted me kicked out the tournament just because I did a dentist chair. All I need is one fucking felon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, but, um, well, what a good chip. But for me, <laughs> but for me in that uh, tournament, you know, what hurt me more than anything was uh, to get beat off the Germans, Germany twice, 1990 World Cup, 1996 on penalties. Fucking hell, that took a hard to take. And all the, pla all the lads were in the dressing room giving us a kiss and cuddle and said cheers. <laughs> It was a special moment for us all, wasn't it? We, we love, we love that tournament, didn't we? And this guy was the star of Euro 96, I think we'll agree, as well as Italia 9. So, um, after that, got married, you know, you, you fucking divorce, you know, and then, obviously, you know, when I was sort of like, Said my dad, I've had enough. You went, son, you're a fucking idiot. Says, <laughs> cheers, mate. And then I obviously, cheers. You know when you get a connoisseur of wines? I had a connoisseur of fucking rehabs. So I lost a bit. Obviously, I tried uh, after put a penalty in fucking. I went to China. China was no good. I signed two players. We won one, so no long sings. <laughs> and then I was, ma I was man's of Kettering, and Gaza, get me out of the third division. I did. I put the fuckers in the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> then Sky, Sky, you know, Sky offered me a good job. 
I tell you what, the fucking money was good. But you ever try putting them dishes up in the window? Fuck that, I ain't doing that. <laughs> and then I went, I had enough, and I just come back from China, fucking man's a kept and I went, Dad, I'm fucked. He went, son, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> so I went to London, because I was angry, and I decided to take a double-decker red bus, stop the fucker in London High Street. I told the black guy, who was a driver, bless him, I went, move, I'm driving this. He went, Gaza, me and you. I went, I drive this fucking thing. So me and him were driving the bus, breathing the black guy, fucking brilliant. I started singing, we're all going on a so hot. I didn't realize I had 70 fucking passengers on the fucking bus. So, so I was on Sky News for that. And then did another stint and did a sit. And then I realized, because uh, the stuff I used to take, I was talking to fucking wine gums. My dad got me sex and <laughs> fucking dad, the wine gums are talking to me. Just fucking get on with the son, eat the bastards. Dad, I've had them. He went, get to sleep. Dad, there's another packet. Oh my God. You know, but easy, I'll fucking. When they try to put me in the coffin, that's why I'm here. You know why? I, get, I take Ben and get through the fucking coffin. <laughs> you also got offered a, a place, a chance to be the England ambassador. Well, that? before that, it was, um, I went, Dad, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm fucking, what am I going to do when I'm fucked? He went, son, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I went, what can I do, Dad, now? He went, fuck it, have a grouse. I went, cheers, Dad. So I grow a cigarette. He went, that's it, son. You fucked your life. I went, Dad, I did well with my career, but I know after I had football, I'm 36 now, Dad, I'm fucking, fuck it. He went, well, it's your fault. <laughs> the phone goes. See, I'm starting to laugh. The fucking phone goes. Hello? Boston United. Ooh, hold on. It's not that fucking clever, believe me, honestly. <laughs> so I went, Dad, Boston United were going to America. He went, I told you, son, you make it. All right, what's the deal? He says, you're going to Boston. I said, Dad, get fucking going to Boston, mate, in America. Get rid of all the fucking press. That's it, we're going to America. Fucking hell. My dad rolled upstairs, got his fat, uh, flip flops, shorts, fucking t shirts, you know what I mean? I followed the fuck up because I had gross. <laughs> dad, what we're going to do is go to on the train, go to Heathrow. We stopped halfway at the Heathrow. I went, Dad, I don't think this is fucking Boston United in America. I think it's a fucking inbred down this fucking thing. He went, Son, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking went back home. I went, Oh, what's the deal? And this is not America, this is fucking Boston United, fucking up the road. Well, what's the deal? He went, I give you a thousand pounds. I give you a thousand pounds a week. In any of the crowd, over 2,500 people, we gave the money. So I went, if I play, we're going to make a lot of fucking money this month. The first game, I'm not giving a fuck about the game. I'm counting how many is the crowd. 10 pound, 20 pound, 30 pound, 40 pound. <laughs> End of the month. I says, where's my bonus? He went, I forgot to tell you, because your fucking dad gave me grouse. The only who had 2,250 pe fucking people. <laughs> I jumped on the fucking train, went back to me dad. I went, oh, he went, son, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Sex me for 11 days. I went, cheers, Dad. Fucking class. Brilliant. I went, Dad, when I come out here getting sectioned, will the Wangum stop speak to me? I'm giving you extra tonight, by the way. Fucking don't tell anyone for fuck's sake. I'm in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> way over an hour we have been soaking up here with a legend. Cheers. They love you. You feel the love, Paul. You feel the love. Yeah, I'm fucking red hot. Some beds. That's where it's no. all about. Paul. I you so much, you know, because I, I was talking to, what's your name there, woman? 
You bloody Lady, man. That's Susanna. Susanna. From Pitchport. I didn't want to see it because her husband would be fucking watching. But uh, now, Susanna just, I was with an interview with Susanna and I miss football badly. That's why I hardly, be, hardly watch it. Because um, it wasn't my life. I miss every. I miss. I miss every Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. Come 3 p.m., I switch off. Because from 3 p.m. to quarter to four, that was my life. Yeah, I know, I miss you too. So I miss you. So you generally gives me a buzz. And when I played football, love you so much. And th no, but when I played football, oh, mate, man. When I played football on a Sunday morning, I had a buzz thinking about you. When I played football in front of you, I got a buzz. Whether I wait from home, home now I know tomorrow morning I'll be in tears because I'll be busy news from tonight. Fantastic. Paul, you've been amazing as you always are, mate. I love working with you. We've got a young man in here. It's his birthday today called Rich Hyde. Can you say a big hello to Rich Hyde? Rich Hyde, thank you very much. Calvin and Vicky have come all the way from Canada to see you here tonight. So a round of applause for Calvin and Vicky. They come all the way from Canada tonight, Paul. They're sorting you out, don't worry. They want to know. Des wants to know. And who else wants to know? Susanna wants to know as well from Pitch Sport as well. What is your most memorable or greatest moment as a player? Come on, my mum's fucking fallopian tubes. <laughs> now I am... Um, to... I don't know. Um, what can I say you had so many, didn't you? I mean, you look at the goal in '96. You look at what you burst on the scene. You must have a favourite moment. Whoever you play for, for Rangers, for Tottenham. Shh. I think um, I don't know. Greatest moment is um, my greatest moment is like I get nervous to see it when the press fuck me off and tell lies. My greatest moment is about going down the high street. I mean you guys. Now, um, David from uh, David Williams uh, from Garfield Construction, another one of our sponsors tonight down there. Um, he's obviously the press have highlighted you. They've hunted you down. They've been hidden bottles of lager outside your hotel room, rang on the door and taken pictures of you as you pick them up. They've stooped that low, ladies and gentlemen. How, how the heck do you handle that? Fucking drink it. <laughs> Good answer. Nice. You get used to it. Like I said, you get used to it. It's just the press. These guys are fucking sound. Like I said, I have these pellets in Australia. I can socialise, I can have a few beers few wines, but if I take fucking drugs or any hot spirits, it makes me feel sick, but I'm not bothered about that. I just fucking did it for myself, so I can socialise with these guys. I'm one of these, man. I'm fucking one of these. You are, yeah. You're one of the boys. One of the boys who actually made it, which is all, which was all about. You had a good time with Brian Robson. You love Brian Robson, and Brian Robson is a legend in this town. Yeah, I, I call him a uh, dog shit. When I play, he was dog, I called Brian, uh, Brian Robson dog shit. Because when I played against him, he was fucking everywhere. That fucker, what a player he was. And he looks after you as well, while, obviously, while you play for England, at Borough, and of course, uh, after as well. He's been, he's been a good friend to you, a good pal. Cheers, Mark. Yeah, Brian Robson was um, brilliant, but... That man in the squad could drink. He told me when I was 18. Oh. Yeah, but um, when I, um, Brian Robson, when I played for England, he went, Gaza, you're starting your career with England. I'm coming to the end, but he wasn't. He went, any of the tackles I'll go for, any of the, and I'll take the stitch and everything. For someone to say like that to me, as a Captain Marvel, was unbelievable. 
He was a legend, wasn't he? And he took you to Borough, didn't he? And you had a good time at Middlesbrough. Yeah, Middlesbrough, well... Brian Robson, right? I didn't tell you that in the story. He went, Gaza, when you're saying for Borough, you'll be OK. I went, yeah, no problem. So I was saying for Borough, and it was two weeks in the season, and he, he went, um, Gaza, when you're saying for Borough, Win promotion, I was a did. He went, I'll tell you one thing as well. He went, Will you behave? I went, Yeah. So he comes in the dressing room and he went, Gaza, the chairman have just bought the, t the team, a new team bus, £350,000. Imagine how excited I got. I went, Oh, that's nice. He says, Just left the garage two days ago. Two, sorry, two minutes ago. It's a new team bus. Behave. I went, no problem. So the lads, he was talking to the guys, I ran out the fucking bus, and I went to the, the bus driver, I went, the gaffer wants a word with you. He went, what do you mean? Why? I went, he wants a fucking word with you. So he ran off, he left the keys in the bus. I'm thinking, fucking get in, I'm a good bus driver, yeah? <laughs> Especially after singing, I'm so fucking going on the summer holidays. Jumped in the bus, I thought I'm going to pee some fuckers up in town for a laugh. I'm driving down the country lane, I got 100 yards. All I can remember, I'm in the woods with the fucking three bears. The bus is on the side like that. I went, oh shit, 350 grand fucking bus. I got trees through it, you name it, the whole lot through it. Oh. I jumped in the, off the bus, oh, well, I crawled out the fucking bus, and the gaffer went, Gaza, and what you went? Where's the fucking bus? I went. You've just seen three new players, Gabba. It's in the fucking woods with the three fucking bears. That bus ride cost me thirty-seven grand, but that was an expensive foot ride, but it was worth it. Absolutely brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone for way over an hour now, but an hour and a quarter we've been here for today. Yeah, cheers, guys. You've you been know. absolutely amazing, mate. We don't want to keep you any longer. It's been a long old night. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, how much I love you all. Yeah, thanks very much. That's what it's all about. It's all about cheers, the love guys. for this man. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless. God bless you. Let's go!